Context, Russia's captured its first major city in Ukraine after a week of fighting. Kherson, a regional capital, 300,000 people on the Black Sea, now under the control of Putin's forces. The war does seem to be escalating on three fronts, east to west from Russia, south down from Belarus, and here's where Odessa comes in, moving north up from Crimea and perhaps increasingly the Black Sea too. Major General Chip Chapman is a former head of counterterrorism at the Ministry of Defence who's been following events in Ukraine, as you'd expect. Chip Chapman, thanks so much for your time. Let's talk about Odessa. Let's talk about the risk, the danger posed by the Russian fleet and amphibious landing, perhaps. What's the game? Yeah, I think that that's true, Colin. So they've been more successful in the southern grouping. There are three groupings of combined arms armies at the moment. And the southern grouping is the one of Donbass in the, uh, and Crimea, uh, goes east and west of Crimea. And essentially, you've got the one to the east, which is looking at Mar uh, Mariupol. And they want to join up a corridor from the Donbass through Mariupol to Crimea, and then probably do a amphibious landing to try and take Odessa. So it is the southern grouping which has been successful. The western grouping, pretty successful but less successful. That's the Kharkov-Sumi axis where I'll try and join that to the southern grouping to have a sort of um, part of the left bank of Ukraine. But the most important one, of course, is the central axis, which has not been successful. That's the one towards Kiev. And I think you can say what's been sort of successful at the moment they haven't achieved all their objectives, but also it's worth saying what has failed. And what has failed is their thunder run to Kiev didn't work, both militarily and politically. There's the chance of a legitimate government being put in there. Uh, Putin's pu uh, puppet is probably nil. It would have no legitimacy. Secondly, their information warfare has been terrible. Although we have to be slightly careful that we're probably getting confirmation bias and belief perseverance from our own side, because we want Ukraine to win and we want them to succeed and maybe we filter bad news out. And the third thing, I think, is that the framing of the war by Putin has really, really been shown to be uh, awful. You know, it was supposed to be, from his perspective, eight days ago, a just war when there were peacekeepers, they'd been invited in, and they were there to stop genocide. And actually, what you've got at the moment is democide, death by the Russian government to the uh, defenders of these cities in, uh, in the Ukraine. Yeah, it's interesting you use that phrase, thunder run, actually, Chip. That was the, uh, what they called, I was, I was part of that American advance to Baghdad. It was the, the quickest armoured assault in military history. I think the Russians thought they could probably pull off something similar. They've not been able to. I mentioned Odessa. Um, I read today one of the points about having an amphibious capability is that you tie up your opponent's troops. If you're menacing the shoreline of Ukraine around Odessa with amphibious assault vessels, the Ukrainian generals are looking at that on the map and thinking, well, we can't uh, send our troops northwards to defend Kiev. We've got to tie them up here because we might be invaded on the beaches. Well, yeah, you should always try and put your um, enemy on the horns of a dilemma. But uh, Ukraine is a very large co a country. I mean, General Mattis, when I worked for him, used to put uh, the country that he was interested in on a map of Texas. I mean, Ukraine is the size of Texas. It's a very large country. So you can't defend everywhere. And if you try and be strong everywhere, you end up being weak everywhere. And I think one of the things which has been impressive today, I think, in Kherson, though that may have been encircled and may have fallen, there's no sign that the defenders were put in a bag. So they either broke out or had enough intelligence to get out before the uh, Russians came in. If they can continue to do that in the way that they've been looking at operations where they disperse and then gather together, they deceive the enemy, then, you know, this is a long, long way to go in this. I keep on saying this is only D plus seven. It's a lot of fighting to go yet.